Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be changing the starter motor on this 2 Series BMW diesel. So to gain access to the starter motor, the first thing we need to do is take this underbelly off, uh, which is held in by about just shy of 10 million screws. Uh, it's probably about 20, 20 uh, screws in total, but uh, yeah, it it'll take a little bit of time to take them off. Um, so you need an 8 mil socket for this. Now that the um, under panel has been taken down, you can see the starter motor. here so it's underneath this uh, little protective fabric and if you just pull the edge away over there and so the it's a fastener effect they're the fasteners and there's also one under there as well so the first thing we need to do to test the start motor is test that we've got battery supply go into the main terminal on the solenoid of the starter motor. So, get your negative cable of your multimeter and stick it on one of the bolts um, that connect the starter motor to the engine because that's where the starter motor gets its earth from, on negative. And then, get, get your positive probe of your multimeter Stick it on there, and that's 12.55. So we know we've got correct battery voltage. So just because we've got voltage doesn't mean we've got current. So the next thing you need to do is grab your test light, stick that on the same securing bolt, and then stick it onto the terminal to make sure your bulb lights up. So that way you've tested, you've got voltage and current going to the starter. So that's fine. And the last thing you need to test to deem the starter motor faulty is the switch in terminal there on the solenoid. So you need your test light on the negative. And then you need to connect this then to the signal. And then you need someone in the car uh, pressing the start switch. And then this should light up. So if you've got them two things and a good earth to the engine, the starter motor's faulty. Locate the battery in the boot of the car and disconnect the negative terminal. need to get a 30 mil socket and take the main positive terminal off the starter motor solenoid now you need to get a 10 mil socket and take the signal off the starter motor solenoid Now that the starter motor has been disconnected, we can take it off the engine. The first bolt is in that hole there, and that's an E10. And then the other two, oh, well, you can see uh, on the outside below. So we'll take this one out first.
Once the bolts are out, the start motor will just simply slide out and down. So this is the old starter motor in the off. Now it's been taken off. As much as, that, as I would love to strip this down and have a look to see what is wrong with it, uh, unfortunately there's a surcharge on it. So this has got to go back to the motor factors where we got the old one. And then we'll get a little bit of money back. So maybe in the future we'll keep one and strip it down show you what's inside. Before you refit the new starter motor, it's always good to check that the mating surfaces are nice and clean, which they are, and this is a good time to inspect the flywheel for any damage. And as you can see, the flywheel is in a good condition. So now to refit the starter motor, it's just exactly the reverse of how you got it off. So thread it into position. It's best to catch these two bolts first, because they're the easiest to get in. And then tackle this hidden one that's behind. Now the start motor has been fitted, tuck the covers back up, and then go around to reconnect the wiring. Reconnect the wiring in the reverse order. So you got the signal wire to the solenoid first. And then you got the main terminal. Now it's important to note that you should only tighten these up until the wash, uh, the spring washer has been crushed. And you shouldn't go any tighter than that. Once you check your connections, it's important to check that you haven't uh, connected them in a way where they're going to be touching a negative, otherwise you'll get a few sparks. Once you've double and triple checked them that they're secure and in the right location, you can lower the car down and reconnect the battery. Reconnect the battery. Now that everything's back together, the battery's been connected and we've tested it, it's time to put this barely power back on. Well, that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want to see in the future, please leave a little comment and I'm sure we can do something for you. Uh, please stay tuned, there's plenty more content coming up and we'll see you again. Thanks.